Hello YouTube and welcome to my life goals. I'm here sitting at a 125 uh, at the Universal Studios in Florida. Uh, I'm doing Uber. Uh, one of my life goals is to uh, become a Tesla owner and I'm saving for it and I'm doing it by doing Uber. Uh, right now I'm waiting on a trip. Uh, I have a plus 125 uh, on the next trip. So we'll see where it takes us. Uh, this is a series of videos that I'm gonna make until I actually achieve that, that goal of buying a Tesla Model Y for me and my family. And uh, I'm working on it uh, either by doing Uber or any type of delivery like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and uh, trying to invest my money in other things that can help me achieve that goal. But uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get one trip and I'll be back with you. So a little update YouTube. It looks like Uber is a little bit slow today for some reason. I've been waiting here and I haven't got any rides yet. So I went live on DoorDash to see if something gets me going. Hopefully something starts going, but we'll see. And I'm debating if I should go live on Lyft. Maybe, maybe not. I sometimes don't like using Lyft because uh, it's, it's hard for me to predict where the customers are going for Lyft. But if, if it keeps on going like this, uh, I might go live on Lyft too. Just a little update. I'll let you know once we get a ride. So a little update, I got a ride from from Lyft, right when I turn it on, after, after I finish debating, it looks like the customer is coming in. Hopefully it's not a, a very long ride. Hopefully it's around the area so I can come back to this hot spot and try to get another ride. So I update you on, on how it goes. So an update, I just drop off the Lyft customer and it was a really short, short trip. It was pretty much like a mile. It was one of the hotels here at Universal, uh, the Portofino Hotel, very nice hotel. Uh, and the trip was like a mile and it only paid $3. So $3 for that trip. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was a short trip and it doesn't take me out of uh, my hot spot. So I'm gonna be able to go back to uh, the universal pickup area and try to get uh, a better uh, ride, a better trip and see how much we make tonight. I'll update you once I get another trip. So an update, uh, while I was getting back to the universal pickup area, I got another trip from Uber and it looks like it has the $1.50 extra that I got before. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick a customer up. I'll update you where does it take me and how much does it pay. Hopefully it's a good trip. So a little bit of an update. Uh, I let the customer know that I was in the pickup area and they said they're around 10 minutes away. So we'll see if they make it. And I'm gonna try to wait the, the four minutes that Uber lets you, uh, lets you wait until the customer arrives. And if not, uh, then it will cancel the, the ride and get the cancellation fee. So we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm still waiting for those four minutes. So an update, uh, the customer didn't show up and we got the, the red sign that it, we can cancel. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the trip and the, the ride didn't show up and collect the, the cancellation trip. Hmm. Uh, so yeah. That is it. Uh, we'll see if I have another trip after this. Hopefully we get another trip and we'll have a 175 waiting. So we'll see. So a little update, uh, we got another trip. Uh, it's not at the Universal Pickup area, but it's nearby. It's by the one of the Lowe's hotels, the Royal Pacific. So I'm gonna go ahead and go pick up the customer. Uh, we got the, the 175 uh, going on extra. So hopefully it's a good ride. We'll see where it takes us. I'll update you once I leave the customer. So just finished the trip. It was a pretty short trip. I thought it was gonna be to the airport because when I picked up the customers, it was two huge bags that they have, but apparently now they were changing hotels. 
but it was a good trip it gave me uh, the extra 175 so i got like 536 for for this trip and with that i'm at 10 now uh, 42 plus the three dollars from lyft and the cancellation is all uh, 1342 so not too bad uh, we're gonna go back to the hot spot see if we can get another trip see how it goes keep you updated so i got another rider uh, on uh, lift it's right here apparently so we're gonna go and take it and he has a total update i just left the customer uh, it was it took me out of my uh, hot spot zone in universal studios and took me to the disney area uh, but it wasn't that bad uh, it actually was seven dollars and sixty six cents but i had an extra uh, two dollars and fifty cents uh, from the from the bonus so it's it's pretty much uh, nine dollars and fifty six and sixty six cents uh, which is not that bad uh, adding up for the night we'll see how how we end I'll keep you updated once I get that next row. So, I'm still here in the Disney Disney World area in the Disney World Resort. I got another ride. Uh, it's it's right here, less than a mile. I'm gonna go pick up the customer and see where it goes. I got the 270, 275 extra bonus from that I brought from Universal Studios. So that's gonna add up to the the trip. Let's see how it goes and I'll keep you updated. The customers at the Grand Floridian Hotel it looks like there's a little hot spot and uh, at the Disney Ticket and Reservation Center so I'm gonna head there so apparently we made uh, $7.24 out of that trip which is not that bad we had that $2.75 extra from the bonus we took at uh, the Universal Resort. So I'm gonna head to that a little hot spot there at the Tikina Reservation uh, Center. Uh, sorry, Tikina Transportation Center. And I'll go from there and see what happens. Uh, I'll give you an update. So quick update. It looks like that trip was even better. The customer left a $10 for, uh, tip. So we're gonna leave a thank you to that customer. So it got even better. $17.24. Now I'm heading to that hot spot. We got an update. We got another trip. And we got that dollar extra from... Uh, taking a dry station center once we pass so I'm gonna go and make a U-turn and go head to the ticket and transportation uh, center to pick up the customer and I will update you on how that goes hopefully it goes pretty good uh, we'll see how far is the trip and if it takes us out of the, the hotspot area but I'll keep you updated so we just left the passenger at the Dolphin in the Epcot Resort area. It was a good ride. Uh, it was actually from the Grand Floridian to the Dolphin Hotel. And it paid $11 with that extra dollar from the, from the surge at the Ticket and Transportation Center. So my next ride will be the last ride of the night i'm gonna try to go and get that that uh 250 hotspot uh, bonus and do the last ride of the night uh, we'll see how it goes i'll give you an update on the last ride so we got up the last ride of the night apparently it's here uh, at the wilderness port wilderness resort um, I think we got a bonus, but I'm not sure if we did. Let me double check. We did. We got a $3 In bonus. In a quarter of a mile, you'll arrive. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's a good ride. It's the last ride of the night. So we are done for the night. Uh, last ride was. Uh, 
nine dollars and ten cents pretty good so in total for the whole night uh, let's see how we, we did kind of the map kind of light up for some reason at the end everybody's coming out the parks so we are at fifty dollars for uber fifty dollars and seventy six cents and uh for lyft we're at twelve dollars and sixty six cents so basically we're at sixty three dollars give or take uh for the whole night it's not that bad pretty good i thought it was going to be slower but if you like this content please subscribe uh, leave the like uh, if you like it uh, it will really help for the youtube algorithm and to grow this channel and leave any comments uh, on what you want to see anything any topic you want to touch or if you have any questions on how to do uh, ride share see you take care